today we are checking out three new Transformers. We've got Soundwave from the Cyberverse line, Starscream from the Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, and also Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. Let's check out the back of Soundwave. Very cool vehicle mode, and he's got a laser beak blast. Laser beak turning into that cassette tape in the old show. We've got Starscream with a Star Seeker missile. Very nice jet mode. And it says he transforms in only five steps. That will be nice. And then finally, Optimus Prime. I'm very excited to transform him. Look at that vehicle mode. And he has a Mega Axe attack. So I'm excited to open these up. Let's get to it. All right, here they are, unboxed, ready to go. Starscream, Soundwave, Optimus Prime. Let's start with Starscream. All right, starting with Starscream. He's got a pretty cool gimmick. When you take this part and push in, his Star Seeker missiles pop up. And they push back down. Although this has to be pulled out a little bit or else they won't go back down. And then push in again on this back part here. There we go. All right, here's how to transform him. Pull this out a little bit so they can pull these down. Super easy, five steps. First step, turn the head so you don't see his face when he's in vehicle mode. Flip him around. This part can come all the way down and then his legs come all the way up. They fit really nicely into place up here. And then these parts fold down here and he's ready to go. He's in robot mode. It says Cybertron in robot mode, which looks even cooler, a little bit more modern. So you can still see all the stuff on the bottom. That's okay. But if you're just looking from the top, very fun. And there's Starscream. Let's move on to Soundwave. All right, up next we have Soundwave. Soundwave has a really fun gimmick. If you take this top part and rotate it, you have laser beak hidden in here and he shoots out. So let's rotate it and laser beak pops out. Let's try it again because I don't think he came out all the way this time. All right, rotate the top. There we go. Laser beak, look at his long wings and his really cool colored beak. Look at all that hidden in there. All right, let's do it one more time and then we'll transform into vehicle mode. Laser beak, very cool. So it doesn't come out any farther than that. Simply push back in. Oops, I said simply, it's not being simple. There we go, close it up. All right, let's or transform him into vehicle mode. So first things first, this part's really cool too. It hides his head. So when we rotate this all the way around the other way and close it up, that hides his head for vehicle mode. All right, then we take his legs and we rotate them around. Oops, nope, we have to unhinge it here. There we go. Now we can rotate his legs all the way around and in. In there, and then squeeze together. Now they said squeeze together first, but I thought that worked better to squeeze together after we slide those in. Notch this part in. All right, and then fold his arms, they said, to the side. As we turn it over, we just kind of fold everything down. Fold everything down and in. Lock those lock into place. These have little tabs on them that lock into place down here. You can hear it kind of locking. There we go. This is Soundwave's vehicle mode. Got a pretty cool turret gun up here. His wheels roll okay. Sometimes his arms get in the way. But pretty good if everything locks into place. Now I've never seen this vehicle mode for um, Soundwave, but I like the looks of it. And of course, again, if you open this, his head is hiding in here. And what's funny is, I think Laser Beak can still come out in his vehicle mode. Let's try it. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. So maybe that's good. Laser Beak will not shoot out unless he is in robot mode. All right, hide his head, get him back in vehicle mode. Let's move on to Optimus Prime. Finally, we have Optimus Prime and he has a really cool Mega Axe attack. So you can fold it up there, but if you put it down, Let's scoot back here and pull on this little blue part behind him. He can swipe with his axe. A lot of toys have that feature. That's pretty fun in a transformer. All right, so 
Let's transform him into vehicle mode. Take his axe, fold it back. All right, the first step is to take his legs, unhinge them here, kind of drag them back. Then he's got this piece right down here that folds up to be the front of his bumper. Then pull his legs all the way back and out. There we go. All right, next we're going to fold his arms down. But before we do that, we've got to fold them back. So the tire kind of connects into this spot here. Fold that down and fold the other side down. Everything kind of tabs in nicely, which I like. All right, the next is to take his head and fold it down. Just rotates around nicely into there. And then his legs tab really nicely into here. They slide just right on the top. So we're gonna fold them over right on top there. Let's see if you can see that right in the slot. There you go, that one. And then that's this one too. It's gonna go right in there. That keeps them nice and solid in there. And then the last step's kind of difficult in that it's just kind of stiff. So I'm gonna pull this all the way up like I would when he was doing his mega axe attack and rotate it down. I have to push pretty hard to get it down. There we go. Now, Optimus Prime is in vehicle mode. He doesn't roll as well because, well, some of his wheels are fake. So he really only has four real wheels to roll on, but that's okay. I still really like his vehicle mode. That was very, really impressive. I love how the front bumper came up solely for vehicle mode. All right. There we go, Optimus Prime, let's bring them all back out. All right, here they all are in their vehicle modes. Optimus, Soundwave, and Starscream. Remember, Starscream and Soundwave are Decepticons, so Optimus would be battling them. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and tune back in every week for more fun toy videos. Thanks for watching.